Now over to Mike Fuller and Weekend. And one of the biggest forthcoming attractions from tonight for seven days is the annual Broadstairs Folk Week. There are processions, craft fairs and twice daily folk shows in Piermont Park. If you want to, you can learn to clog dance in a variety of styles, all sizes available in a wide range of fittings. Or you can just sit back and listen to the traditional music and enjoy some traditional lubrication. Well, just up the road on Saturday, a record fair to appeal to a wide range of tastes is being held in Margate's Nayland Rock Hotel. But if your clogs are better suited to walking, then Seaford in Sussex might appeal to you tomorrow. The local history museum have organised guided tours of the town to go with their Martello market. And coming east a little bit, the Old Hastings Preservation Society are itching to show you the old town in action in a week-long programme of conducted tours, special exhibitions and craft demonstrations. Or if you've always wanted to walk down the middle of a main road, then the opportunity of a lifetime presents itself on Saturday afternoon. A children's charity has fixed it with the authorities for a four-mile stroll down the new Canterbury Bypass. It's almost finished, but not open yet, so you can enjoy some beautiful scenery in uh, a very unusual experience, and all in perfect safety. The start is near the bridge turn-off of the A2. Now, I must press on fast to mention the fate tomorrow afternoon at Rudlow House Stanhope Road in Ashford, Charlton Sports Club near Canterbury and St Mary's Children's Home at Broadstairs and at Oaklands in Hythe, where the Hythe firemen promise a hot time for everyone. Minis Day Centre have a fate on tomorrow, as do the friends of Margate Hospital in the hospital grounds, but Westgate-on-Sea Community Centre have plumped for Sunday to hold theirs. A grand old country fair is lined up for Selmerston on Sunday with some great traditional attractions, including a beer tent. In Hastings tomorrow night at the Stables Theatre, there's a chance to catch one of George Harland's marvellous public readings of Charles Dickens, if you're not already promised to one of the summer shows, The Bachelors at the White Rock, Little and Large at the Eastbourne Congress Theatre, or if you're not stealing your sides for Frankie Howard's appearance at Folkestone's Leescliff Hall on Sunday. Now finally, can I drum up some support for our own Southern TV? It's a knockout team who go like lambs to the slaughter to Jefferson Lane in St Mary's Bay tomorrow to be humiliated by others from around the marsh. Well, I'll be all right. It's the old folk I worry about, people like Mike Field and Arnie Wilson. He's really 44 himself, but he won't admit.